Pat, winter mute, resuming. DMCA already, let's go, baby. This is episode two of The Long Dark. Big, big bear attack last uh, time. And now we're just sitting by the fire, warming our uh, phalanges. Bear. Hey. Damn it. Not again. No. The lights. Hey. Okay. Bear! Easy. Take it easy. Got the beard, though, dude. Survival beard. Who are you? Name's Mackenzie. I'm the one who saved you from the bear. Did we kill it? We definitely didn't. I don't think so. But I hit it. Maybe scared it away. <laughs> Not the way you shoot. <laughs> Glad your memory's coming back. <laughs> Shit. He got me good this time. <laughs> this time? Mm. Oh. Yeah. Me and the old bear go back a ways. Uh. There's, there's unfinished business between us. I bandaged you up, but you're in bad shape. Is there anywhere to get medical help? What? I mean like a hospital. Out here? Nah. Nothing like that. Nothing could ever be convenient in video games, huh? Can we call for help? No. Radio's been dead for the past few days. Of course. I can't raise any of the usual channels. I'm not sure why. Well, you'll need some stronger meds to avoid infection. And for the pain. Be some kind of doctor. No. But I've been around doctors enough to know you'll be in trouble soon. Unless you get some better help than I can give you. Yeah. Right. God, can't wait for all well, these fetch quests that's about to come in here. Closest help is probably in Milton. Back the way you came. There's nothing there. Uh, there's nobody left to help you there. The town's pretty much deserted. There was a fire and... Uh, Damn next town's days away Jesus Christ I'm wrecked but if you leave now you might be able to you won't last days like this must be another way yeah I'll teach you how to drink out of the toilet there's there's someone who might help but we can only reach them by radio so we're back to where we started there's got to be somewhere nearby that might have medical supplies or another radio we can use you might find some comms gear, or parts, in the old Carter Dam. That's probably ancient stuff, though. That place has been abandoned for years. They used to have a first aid room. Might still be some old meds there, too. Expired. <laughs> Something strong enough to maybe numb this pain. Hang in there. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hang in there. Hey, can I take this gun? Wait. Give me the gun. Wait. The old bear. He's still out there. He'll be wanting to finish the job. Okay. Uh, probably not. He's a bear, you know. Yeah. Oh, there we go, dude. Take Finally you armed. You won't kill him. But you might scare him off again. Right. I know, let's go. Give me that gun. Watch out. The dam. Unstable. Slay down, bro. What? What do you mean unstable? God, so cliche. But we love it. We're gaming. Damn it. He's passed out. Ah, did the fade to black. Just put me into the game, dude. Cut scene straight to the game. All right. Okay, I forget how to play this game. The fuck is up with our face, dude? Uh. Hey, 
Hey, is there a storage in here, dude? That in there, I guess. I'm wearing all this shit. I can probably find another toilet, so that's fine. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. That trapper's my key to getting out of here. He better not die on me. All right, nice big wide open space here. Forget how to play this game, man. Two bullets? Man, put that shit away. I got a map. Camp office. Oh my god, dude. Did I just get a message? No. What a long fucking hike, huh? Something dead over there, bro. Oh, there's a dead guy. Max's last stand. End up being useful. Just a fucking dead guy out here. Just imagine ending up like that, face down in the snow. Just dead as shit. Man, are you kidding me? We fall and sprain our wrist, dude. Clumsy, clumsy piece of shit. Clumsy piece of shit. You better walk it off, dude. Sprained wrist. They use any meds on our sprained wrist. Relax. Let's relax here. Let's relax. You must be a perceptive one. I was kind of far from you, but I was running. Relax now. Camp office is not too far away. Pack up, dude. Don't start running. God, he's just stalking me, bro. Ah, here we go. Saved. Can't wait for the door to be locked, though. Can't wait for this door to be locked. God, this dude is stalking me. Sick. Hello? This is fine. All this random ammo. Excellent. Not reading it. Search the cabinets like it's Tarkov. By the final GPU. Hope I can still eat this. Key to late cabin number three. Great. That's gonna be all these fucking keys I gotta get. All these, to all these cabins. Look at this ancient laptop, dude. No way that works out here. Like, what internet are you getting out here anyway? This will come in handy. It's kind of nice. Hey, we bought the fish? Oh, 
Nope. Oh no, I don't do that. Was there an upstairs? There is an upstairs. I knew it wasn't crazy. All right. Is there gonna be an AK-47 up here? Cause this, or the rifle I'm not really digging. Back hurts. I'm slunched over. That'll come in handy. It's good. I don't know. Are these good or what? I don't know. Just keep them there, just chilling. Oh, here we go. I almost missed that. I could use this. Those look nice. Those look nice. Fuck yeah. Where are those? Fuck yes, dude. Upgrading. All right. Nice little checkpoint there. Where's the cabins though? Oh man, we, we fucked up. We are in dangerous territory for this game, dude. Slanted hill. Unathletic character. Dude, are you kidding me? Tore my clothes already? God. This guy is the definition of unathletic. Like, what did I, what did I tear, man? Tore my clothing. Anything interesting at the derailment part of the map? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like a very good POI. What's this? It's nothing. Is that another wolf right there, bro? Dude. Level, dude, level two wolves, bro. They've literally upgraded. Bitches are bitches are spotting me from deep like snipers. Must be hungry. I see some hungry ass wolves around these parts. This fucking bitch, dude. <laughs> this bitch, dude. He's the homie. He's the homie. He's my pet. He just. He's like a Rottweiler. They just make that noise when they're playing. As soon as he starts running, I'm gonna shit my pants. Another dead guy. I think I can use this. People just dying out here. I can't, I kind of let the wolf close the distance, so I'm kind of upset. Can I get out of here? I can't. Come on. You got a nine in there, dude? Could end up being useful. Hey! Hey! Hello? Who saved my life? Oh, he's coming back. He's pissed. Put those on. What do you got? You got the nine on you? Wonder if this is any good to eat. Are you right outside this door? He is right outside this door. Oh no. Oh no. Is 
No weapons in inventory, huh? What? Put this away. Dude, put this shit away. Here, give me that shit. Alright, we honestly need to, uh... Mail. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh no. I kill him. I kill him. I've got to stop that bleeding. How? Sounds so sad. I'm kind of sad. He tried to kill me, but I'm sad. Dude, are you kidding me? Are we kidding? Bleeding, bro. You smell it, don't you? Oh shit! <sighs> oh god. Oh fuck. Gotta stop that blood loss. Get it. Gotta stop that blood loss. All right. Uh, first aid. Cloth. Use. Use it. Right arm, use. We're fucked up out here. Our first, our first attack. Infection wrist. Jesus Christ. Use. Why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? What? Okay. Guess the antibiotics are just pain. Alright, he's a lot of antibiotics. That kinda I kinda wasted them all. That's cool. But uh I think we're good on the wolf attacks. We're nearing our destination. Another dead guy down there for Christ's sakes. Wait, is that a looks like one of the uh prisoners. I'll go investigate that later, but it's cold out here and I'm getting hungry. <sighs> the game is getting ev eventful. This place is trash. Okay. Yeah, drink it. Drink it. Drink another soda, you fat fuck. Yeah. Yeah, we're all good now. All good now. Another trailer. Oh, I got a, I got a pry bar. Let's go, bro. I got a pry bar. Ooh, that's nice. That's also very nice. I gotta carry a fucking gun with us everywhere now. All right, we're upgrading. Our hands are fucked up, but it's okay. Is that, are these cartridges or like the actual like bullets? How do I heal? What a shithole. Cutscene. Oh my god. All right, so the bear's like that, huh? The bear's like that. Like a fucking World War Z zombie. Jesus Christ, dude. It's like that, huh? Unfinished business with the bear, he said. Oh, freezing. Cold. Don't worry, bro. We're almost there. Just it just it just fucking hell froze over out of nowhere after the bear. 
All right, we're in here. Come on. Don't die on me now. We will warm up. Hello? Anyone here? This place looks like it's been empty for a while. What have we here? Do I even have lamp oil? I don't got lamp oil, man. We'll save this scary ass for a second. Look for the code. Just another dead, dead ass person. I think I can use this. Give me your bullets. Well, um... Cool, we love that end here. Love that end here. Oh, wow, well, okay. Like this thing isn't opening unless I can get the power working again. But that's a problem for later. I have to get those radio parts. Another. What the Just what I need. Could end up being useful. Alright, we do. We are getting it all done, you know? Now, where's that office key? Of course I can go down there. We want to go to the office. This flare is so annoying, though. Uh, I could use this. <laughs> Come on, gotta be some goodies in the office, bro. this anymore uh, safe bro I really don't feel like we're gonna get the power up in this dump Real strength antibiotics and very strong painkillers. Dangerous. You can get hooked on this stuff. Let's hope we don't need it. For before he dies. Wait, excuse me now. Uh, do I not have any more? <laughs> Check in on that old trapper.
Yeah, I don't feel like we're gonna get there tonight. Holy shit. Nice, bro. We're ready. We are loaded up. Put that away. Pick that up. Maybe, maybe we do make it there today. Let's go. Don't want her homie to die. I think this might be a bad idea. Such a bad idea. That's right, we're just gonna follow the railroad tracks a little loud. That's all right. We'll get there. We're gonna save homie. No, this is bad. This is bad. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Can't see a goddamn thing, but we're gonna make it. I see the flag. I see it. Satellite in my eye. We just not pitch black out. Got a little bit of the night sky showing us the way. What is that? Is that a wolf? Is that a wolf? God damn it, dude. Don't make me shoot you, bro. I'll, I'll shoot you, bro. I got a lot of ammo. I almost there. Fuck. Nice set piece. Hey, let me get some covering fire. Let me get some covering fire, bro. I can't feel my feet. Ah, shut the fuck up, Mackenzie. Can you see we're almost here? <sighs> Fucking door to this shit. What the fuck? I thought we were snowed in for a second. All right, homie, you dead or what? banged up. You're probably a bit delirious too. I just gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while, but it'll help. And you're gonna need some time to recover. Time? We don't have time. We need to get a message out. It's important. Message? You mean to your friend? Asking for medical help? Never mind that. Help me up so I can look at the radio. Let's see if the parts you brought back are any good. Yeah, I just found some random ass radio parts. Some random dump factory. He's over there working though, huh? That's a military shortwave, isn't it? Maybe. I know a bit about radios. That's not like any surplus I've ever seen. Damn it! Well, the parts look fine. So, whatever's wrong with the radio goes deeper than that. Of course, man. Of course. What could it be? Uh, something to do with the power. <laughs> Fuses. Transformers, maybe. Looks like we gotta go to the control room. Bigger problems to deal with first. That bears out there. 
hunting us. He's a smart old bastard. He'll keep us from getting out, getting supplies, finding help. Eventually, he'll either get us or starve us out. I gotta lay down. Help me back to the bed. All right, I guess we, uh... The dam was pretty busted up, like you said. The place was cracked open by the quake years ago and never recovered. It was already half dead at the time. Meaning? The dam dates back to the 60s. Industrialists from the mainland wanted to use it to power a mining town he was planning to build. But the bottom fell out of the price of coal, and he had to abandon those plans. Some fool tried to get it running again in the 80s. But then the forest talkers got involved, and that was the end of it. Pretty sure the Quakes finished the job once and for all. The fuck is the forest talkers? So, who are the forest talkers? Eco-terrorists. Activists, some call them. Depends on who you talk to, I guess. Why are they out here? Well, they've been active for years. They come and go. Mostly here to throw a wrench in the works for a variety of resource projects, mining, forestry mainly. They want Great Bear to remain a pristine wilderness. <laughs> you don't sound like you agree. Oh, I've no love for industry. But this is the way of the world. You have something they want, they take it. Nothing much you can do to stop it. Well, judging by what I saw in the dam, I'd say the forest talkers are still active. Well, that's good news for you. Keep your eyes open for supply caches they might have left behind. What's this unfinished business between you and the bear? Ah, <laughs> me and the old bear. Every time we meet, we make a little trade. And what do you trade? <laughs> Each other's blood, mostly. <laughs> sounds like a losing proposition. Oh, well, I'm sure it will be. For one of us. The main reason I'm out here is I'm looking for someone. <laughs> you won't find too many people out here. That's kind of the whole point. This is someone important to me. A woman. She may have passed through here a few days ago. She might have been injured. What makes you think she came through here? She passed through the tunnel leaving Milton, but then... I'm not sure. Well, the roads from Milton don't lead this way. Wherever she's headed, you'll have to cross the mountains to find her. Not an easy path, even for the most experienced outdoorsman. I'll do whatever it takes. Well, you won't get far with that bear on the prowl. What we need is to get my radio up and running. So we can find out what the hell is going on. Maybe someone out there has seen your friend. The woman I'm looking for. She might be on her way to a place called Perseverance Mills. You know it? Yeah. Shit nothing town, north part of the island. Uh, sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. We were on our way there, my passenger and I, when we crashed. I need to find a way to get there, or contact her, see if she's all right. I'm sure she's alive. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, well, normally I'd make some calls on the old shortwave. Whole area's been damn quiet since those lights in the sky. Even the wildlife's acting strange, but I might have an idea. Get to the point. You said you had an idea. What do you have in mind? Well, it's a long shot. But I may know how we can find out about your friend. I'm listening. This shortwave. I use it to keep an ear open for what's going on. So how do we get the radio working? There's no reason I can see why it shouldn't be working. Well, what about more parts? 
or another radio. We might find another radio, but I think I have a better idea. Problem is, it's no use with the old bear out there. Yeah, this damn Locked bear. A working radio, and our survival is through that bear. I have to find a way to deal with him first. Okay, so we have to deal with the bear. But you're half dead, and rifle shots don't seem to do much. So... That's because the old bear, he's special. I've been hunting and trapping for years, and I've shot a lot of bears. But I've never encountered anything quite like him. A special bear like that needs special magic to bring him down. Uh, magic? Don't worry, I'm not delirious. I don't mean literal magic. Yeah, take a the seat, bro. Oh, the old ways. What do you have in mind? There's an old story, local legend maybe, about one of the original settlers of this place, Spence. The story goes something like this. Oh, Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty. What the fuck? For generations, the family had been traders in the Hudson's Bay Company. Old voyageur stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Bear wanders off, but Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips into fever. For days, delirious, she screams about the bear. Local doctor can't do a thing for her, neither can the priest. Week later, a hired hand goes missing. And they find him. Just a body. Ravaged. Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them. Revenge for some slight in the past, maybe. Something in the family history. Spence gets some men together for a hunting party. They go out into the muskeg and track something big for days. Eventually corner it. Ah, it's a big son of a bitch. Biggest bear they'd ever seen. Man killer. Story goes, they empty their rifles into the bear and it just walks away. Like it's made of stone. They call it the demon bear after that. Wife's dying now. Spence believes the bear's evil spirit is killing her, eating her soul. He can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. They know rifles don't work. So he forges a spear, like a boar spear, but bigger. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the muskeg, disappears for days, and then one morning, the wife's fever breaks, but nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him, and they find him, half dead, blood all over him, body torn almost in two. The bears work. The last thing he says is, Spear stole the bear's soul. My wife is now free. And then he's gone. So, did he kill the bear? Nobody knows. Never found a carcass. They buried Spence, took the spear back, and hung it over the mantelpiece in the Spence homestead. Never saw that bear. God, now I gotta get the. F Another, I get yeah. this fucking spear. Huh? Years later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. So, do you believe it? The story of the demon bear and the spear stealing its soul? What? No, of course not. I, I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. But the old stories sometimes have truths hidden in them. Spence might have been superstitious, but he had the right idea. Ten inches of cold, hard steel might do what a bullet can't. I'm convinced. A spear's the way to kill that bear. 
and you need to get Spence's bear-killing spear if we're going to survive the winter. The old hunting lodge is still there. A couple of days' journey south. Oh my god. Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg, and you'll find it. If the spear's there, get it. It might be our best hope. And the radio? You deal with the bear, and let me worry about the radio. <laughs> <coughs> now, let me rest. God, bro, two days? Good luck out there. Watch out for our demon. This game is too immersive. Right. Walk two days. Chapter two, the best defense. Two days?